Hello everybody, it's me, Pred. And this is a follow-up video on my how to fix bad sound quality with a shadow play video. Well, a lot of people, well, not a lot, but some people were writing in the comments that they have a certain output device um, that they're using that doesn't support the uh, settings that you need to put in to fix the bad sound quality for shadow play. Well, and like the last couple of months, I was always like, well, okay. I can't really do anything about that. I'm really sorry. And then yesterday I was laying in bed and I, uh, sometimes I have these things where I, I think about something that is like really, really, uh, far in the past. And then I suddenly get a solution. Well, it's not really a solution. It's a workaround and it works. I've tried it. So if you're using shadow play to record gameplay footage, you are either, um, doing that to, make like montages of, uh, I don't know, Counter-Strike kills or Call of Duty or something, or you're doing Let's Plays or you're doing reviews or whatever. And uh, so you will be most likely using something like Audacity to record your voice. Well, what a lot of people don't know, Audacity actually has the function or the feature to record the audio output of your computer. So not just your microphone, but also everything, like all the sounds that com your computer makes. And to access that, you open Audacity and um, you can see that little thing right there. MME is your microphone, right? And that is um, your, what you would normally use. And Windows WhatsApp is actually your Windows input, not input, your Windows output. So you can record games, your game sound with that. So what you would have to do is you turn off, um, you turn off your audio recording in shadow play. So you're saying, okay, I just want the video. I don't want the audio recording. And then <clears throat> you uh, use audacity to record the game sound and audacity, audacity is not, you know, limited by that weird uh, shadow play bug that, um, outputs a uh, bad sound quality. So you do that. And then in your editing program later on, you have to sync them up again. And that can be kind of tough, especially for people who have not been doing this a long time. I'm going to show you a little trick here. And um, <clears throat> that is um, finding things or finding sounds in a game that you can reproduce. You know, that could be like the shooting of a gun or that could be <clears throat> could, could be menu clicks. And um, as you can see here, I'm using Terraria just because it's in windowed mode and it's kind of a weird way of recording here. Showing how to record while recording yourself is kind of hard to do. So um, <clears throat> you, um, I just click the menu a couple of times and you can see in the sound file that is recorded, you have these little spikes every time the menu clicks right? And then in your uh, Vegas or uh, Adobe Premiere program, you can just sync them up really easily. And then you have audio and video synced and you worked around the um, shadow play bad sound quality, even if you have a Logitech G35 or whatever. <coughs> the only problem with this is you can only have one instance of Audacity running. Right, so you can't have two instances of Audacity running, one with your um, microphone output and one with your computer output. So you have to find an alternative to Audacity that you can run at the same time. And I've been just looking around a little bit. And um, since I do all my audio editing, my post editing in Adobe, I just need some kind of software to record my voice, right? So I found a program called WaveShop. Uh, very easy to use. You just press record, you put in a file name, a save, and then you can choose your sample rate. For example, my um, Yeti uh, supports a 48,000 hertz sample rate. And then you just press start and you can just record, start talking. And that's it. And then you all line it up in your editing program. And uh, now it doesn't matter if you if like the the shadow play fix for bad audio quality doesn't support your your output device you can just work around that so i hope this helps you i know it's one step more in post-production <laughs> but it's better than not working at all until nvidia fixes that bug so i'll see you guys goodbye